All right, now we're gonna remove the uh, helium hose from the balloon. And since I just zip tied it in here, I can slide the hose out and uh, initially just zip this tie tight right away. And then I'm gonna take another zip tie and twist this balloon neck. And it helps to have somebody else with you do this. I'm gonna take this zip tie, make sure that now the lines are, are in the way and I'm gonna put another tie on. And some people like to listen to see if there's any leaks. And uh, I'm gonna snip these ties. This is, this is where it's nice to have that safety line in place. And you could do one final check on your lift. Looks good. All right, so now we're gonna uh, cut the safety line and we're gonna walk the balloon up. Uh, if it's really windy, it's good to have some leather gloves on because these uh, thin lines can actually uh, burn your hands. So we're gonna cut the safety line. Just make sure you cut the right line. And uh, we're gonna walk this balloon up. A little bit windy today. Just hand over hand like this. Parachute. Pull it away from buildings and things like that. There you go. I hold it on the last payload like this and uh, get ready for a launch. One of the things uh, you're going to want to do is once you have your balloon filled, um, sometimes when it's windy you need some horizontal space for it to take off and sometimes it's better to get the payloads underneath it. So once that I, I have it up here um, and I have a little bit of wind, I'm going to try to run underneath the balloon and let the payloads go. Um, so you can see we're away from some trees and buildings because it'll need a little bit of time to get up off the ground and then uh, we'll be flying. So I'm going to take this balloon. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck with all your launches.